What is bootlegging? On the boat, it's bootlegging. On Lakeshore Drive, it's hospitality. <laughs> I'm a businessman. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 films that will teach you to be rich. And then that happens. What is that? That's America's housing market. Oh, have I got your attention now? My name is Frank Taylor. I'm a co-pilot for Pan Am. I'd like to cash this check here and then I'd like to take you out for a steak dinner. For this list, we'll be looking at movies that contain important lessons about business and money, with maybe a secret or two about making some. What movie did you learn some important financial tips from? Any we missed? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Boiler Room Movies about the stock market are typically littered with techniques and motivational phrases used in high-pressure sales environments. Things like act as if, motion creates emotion, and always be closing. Get on the phones, it's time to get to work. Get off your ass! Move around, motion creates emotion. The crime drama Boiler Room is no exception. It's easy to get wrapped up in the exorbitant wealth that's thrown around, but the film also acts as a warning about greed, similar to Martin Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street. There are many lessons to take away from Boiler Room. Well, I still have to run it by my people. That's great, Doc, if you want to miss yet another opportunity here and watch your colleagues get rich doing clinical trials and don't buy a share and hang up the phone. Well, hold on a second now, I didn't say that, I just want to talk about it some more. But perhaps the most important is to avoid the trap of instant gratification. Be very wary about where you invest your money. Everyone out here is trying to make a quick buck. That internet stock that shot through the roof, you could have made millions on it if you just got in early. And that's exactly what I wanted to do, get in. I didn't want to be an innovator, I just wanted to make the quick and easy buck. Number nine, Goodfellas. What do you do? I'm in construction. You don't feel like you're in construction. No, I'm a union delegate. Business is business, which is why we can learn so much from movies about crime families. Martin Scorsese's biographical crime film is the perfect example, showing the importance of thinking strategically and being people-focused. You're only as good as your word and the ones you keep around you. Just like in The Godfather 2. Remember, don't make promises you can't keep. An empire isn't made by one man, but many. While you shouldn't live for appearances, you have to make your clients and workers feel special. And make sure you have a sense of humor. Otherwise, you might not pass the vibe check. What do you mean funny? Funny how? How am I funny? I'm not just... You know how you tell a story? What? No, no, I don't know. You said it. How do I know? You said I'm funny. Number eight, The Untouchables. Be prepared, but don't get cocky. During Prohibition in the 1920s and 30s, some American gangsters decided to take advantage of the sudden gap in the market. There is violence in Chicago, of course, but not by me and not by anybody I employ. And I'll tell you why, because it's not good business. Making money is like playing chess. You have to think a few moves ahead. Blessed with this skill, Al Capone was able to keep the police away from his business. However, the thing that brought Al Capone down was not paying his taxes. Gentlemen, a subpoena was issued for Alphonse Capone by my office this morning for the crime of evading and conspiring to evade Federal income tax. You'd be surprised by the number of superstars and wealthy business people who get caught out because they haven't done their tax returns right. Get an accountant, or at least make sure that you understand how taxes work. Otherwise, it might bite you in the ass. Your Honor, we would like to withdraw our plea of not guilty and enter a plea of guilty. <laughs> Number seven, The Founder. This is the most remarkable restaurant I've seen in all my years in the food service industry, and I've seen it all. I want to hear your story. The story of how McDonald's became a household name isn't a clean one. The creation of the Speedy system is pretty impressive. The McDonald brothers teach you to be data-driven, focus on the customer's problems, and be innovative. But the man who expanded the fast food pit stop into the worldwide conglomerate was Ray Kroc, and it's from his involvement that you can learn the darker side of business. You don't build an empire off a 1.4% cut of a 15-cent hamburger. You build it 
by owning the land. Through his networking, he was able to think big, work with the right people, and apply fresh perspectives. The most important takeaway comes at the end. Always get everything in writing. Look, fellas, you'll get your full royalties, all right? Got my word on that. It's a handshake deal that ultimately leads the brothers to lose everything they built. Number six, the social network. You're gonna go through life thinking that girls don't like you because you're a nerd. And I want you to know from the bottom of my heart that that won't be true. It'll be because you're an asshole. We get a lot of information from the biggest social media company on the planet, but we can learn even more from its origins. Each lawsuit that Mark Zuckerberg finds himself in teaches us different things. First, the Winklevoss twins sue Mark over stealing their idea. You have part of my attention, you have the minimum amount. The rest of my attention is back at the offices of Facebook, where my colleagues and I are doing things that no one in this room, including and especially your clients, are intellectually or creatively capable of doing. Eduardo Saverin sues Mark over reducing his stake as his partner, feeling like Mark betrayed him. While you could take away that you shouldn't betray your friends, the real business lessons are a bit harsher. Matt, what you hated the most is that they identified me as a co-founder of Facebook, which I am. You better lawyer up, asshole, because I'm not coming back for 30%. I'm coming back for everything. Things can happen quickly, and you need to be present, something Eduardo didn't account for. And despite what the twins say, it's not always about who has the idea, it's also about the execution. Number 5. Moneyball The Oakland A's lose their star baseball players in the lead-up to the 2002 season, so Billy Bean, the general manager, desperately looks for a fresh perspective. The problem we're trying to solve is that there are rich teams and there are poor teams. Then there's 50 feet of crap, and then there's us. As a former player, he knows that selecting a team based on gut instinct isn't enough. That's when he comes across Peter Brand, a young economics graduate who's boiled down players' value into data and numbers. People who run ball clubs, they think in terms of buying players. Your goal shouldn't be to buy players, your goal should be to buy wins. This method upsets the old heads of the industry, but turns the team into a force to be reckoned with. What this film shows us is that a fresh perspective and innovation can change everything, even if everyone thinks it's a bad idea. Seeing it through is the only way that you can prove them wrong. Number four, The Big Short. Mortgage-backed securities, <laughs> subprime loans, tranches, it's pretty confusing, right? Does it make you feel bored or stupid? Well, it's supposed to. The Big Short is an extraordinary story of how a few groups predicted the housing crash of 2007. But the main focus of the movie is highlighting how corrupt the financial market can be. The housing market is propped up on these bad loans. I'm... <laughs> It's a time bomb, and I want to short it. The biggest con was how banks were giving out loans for unreliable mortgages, packaging them up and selling them in the form of collateralized debt obligations. As we dive deeper into the growing bubble of the impending financial crisis, we learn a dark lesson. In the money world, there are systems in play larger than we can comprehend. So, to avoid disaster, always pay attention to the finer details. 500 billion in housing bonds sold last year alone, the ratings agencies, the banks, the government? You're saying they're all asleep at the wheel? Yeah. Number three, the pursuit of happiness. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. This biographical drama is one of the most inspirational films to have graced the big screen. The reason this heartwarming true story resonates with so many is that Will Smith's character could be any of us. After failing at multiple careers and desperate to provide for his son, he decides to apply for an unpaid internship as a stockbroker. Yeah, I'll give you a call tomorrow sometime. And wait, wait, what are you talking about? You hounded me for this. You stood here. Listen, there's no salary. No. I was not aware of that. My circumstances have changed some, and I need to be certain. He's hit rock bottom, but from there, the only way is up. 
Perseverance is one of the most important traits anyone can have. It's never too late to start. True happiness and success come from loving what you do and having a reason to do it. Because tomorrow's going to be your first day. If you'd like to work here as a broker. Would you like that, Chris? Yes, sir. Good. We couldn't be happier. So, welcome. Number two, Glen Gary, Glen Ross. Based on the Pulitzer Prize winning play, this film about cutthroat real estate salesmen is a cult classic. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. Glen Gary Glen Ross rises above the rest because of how clearly it spells out sales tips on screen. Of course, the most memorable of these come during Alec Baldwin's famous speech. They include always be closing and attention, interest, decision, action. A, B, C. A, always, B, B, C, closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. If you're just starting to sell, watch this film. Not only will it get you in the right mindset, it will also pump you up to close, close, close. Because only one thing counts in this life. Get them to sign on the line which is dotted. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Wall Street. Money never sleeps, but ambition needs to be tempered with humanity. This is the kid. He calls me 59 days in a row, wants to be a player. Ought to be a picture of you in the dictionary on our persistence, kid. Yeah. Catch me if you can. Confidence can change everything. Captain Oliver, John Larkin, the co-pilot. Oh. Fred Tully, flight engineer. Frank Taylor, Pan Am. Thanks for giving me a lift, boys. American Hustle. Pay attention to the details or it could cost you. Before we go any further, is this legit? Uh, let's just say, you know, it's missing from Spain. Leave it at that. Mm. Don't show any Spanish friends. Joy. Grit and a good idea can go a long way. Yeah. 300 feet of continuous cotton loops. That's what I drew. This is why I would like to ask you for your investment tree. The banker. If the system doesn't serve you, make a new one. I like seeing black men succeed. Sometimes I even invest some of my own money to back them. But you don't even know me. I know you're smart and ambitious. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Trading Places the victim of a callous social experiment, Dan Aykroyd's well-mannered managing director is left homeless, while Eddie Murphy's street hustler is given his job. My brother and I run a privately funded program to rehabilitate culturally disadvantaged people. We'd like to supply you with a home of your own, a car, a generous bank account, and employment with our company. We're going to start you at $80,000 a year. It's a grim reminder of the control powerful people have over other people's lives, but there are ways to learn from this 1983 comedy. Yes, the people at the top run the system and, to some extent, decide our fortunes, but don't underestimate the power of resourceful, determined underdogs putting their heads together either. I'm talking about a business proposition, Louis. I help you get yourself back on your feet and you pay me, in cash, five figures. That's the deal, and it's not subject to negotiation. Understood? Ultimately, by anticipating plans and taking advantage of blind spots, both Dan Aykroyd's character and Eddie Murphy's come out on top. Now get out there and make some money. How could you do this to us after everything we've done for you? Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. The Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put you on the poorhouse at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. I won. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.